What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I want to do a, a video, a review video of a product that anyone who uses solar should have. Uh, or if you're kind of a do-it-yourselfer or handyman type, this is this is a must-have unit. Uh, what this is, this is a clamp meter, um, which is a, basically a multimeter that also has this this clamping ability to clamp around a cord to measure amperage. And normally these are pretty expensive units. Uh, most most clamp meters are well over a hundred dollars. Um, a lot of them will only do AC, which doesn't really help a whole lot with, with uh, solar. And also, you have to clamp around an individual uh, you know, conductor. So, uh, typically with AC, you're, you're dealing with like a three conductor wire or something like that. So, you can't just clamp around the whole thing and get a reading. So, um, I haven't had one of these in the past, but I, I invested in one recently. I saw someone using them in a in a video and uh, I decided to look them up and, and surprisingly I found this unit very affordable and it also has fantastic reviews. This was a $34 uh, purchase. Uh, I did not receive this one for free so this is a paid, uh, this is a review of something I, I paid for myself uh, but like I said it was $34 on Amazon with free prime shipping so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, at what we get for our money here. If I can do this one-handed. Um, like I said, most of these are going to be $150, $200 range. They can do 300 amps and and typically, usually AC power. Some of them will do DC as well. Those are even more expensive. So I was pleasantly surprised to find this for $34 that can do AC and DC, but it only does 100 amps. Um, I don't know if it says that on the box. Anyways. It only does 100 amps, which is totally fine. That's a lot of a lot of power for a solar panel system. So this this will handle all but the largest systems. So anyway, um, you get your unit there in a, in a plastic bag and a nice little carrying case, which is nice. Um, so you don't lose the thing. Um, everything seems to be in Chinese. This is definitely a a Chinese made product but it does get really good reviews. I, I haven't played with it enough to know how how well it's going to work long term but it really it feels really good. It does not feel cheap. It's got a nice heft to it, a little bit of weight to it. The dial uh, seems to be really uh, well done. It's not none of this is flimsy. It's got a nice strong spring on the the clamp so my initial impressions are good. Now obviously it comes with leads because um, just like a normal multimeter like I have over here and these are these are pretty cheap you can get these for 10 or 15 bucks or less sometimes um, but just like this it has two leads right down here at the bottom so you put the uh, the black in the common and the red goes over here which measures the voltage and uh, resistance and amperage and so forth so, and I'll, I'll demonstrate some of this on a couple of different things here in a little bit, but, you know, you get your bundle here. Uh, these are actually kind of long leads, uh, good quality. They've got, um, you know, the tips are, are kind of sharp. Um, anyway, that's all fine and dandy, but a couple of the things that I wanted to point out on here, um, it can go up to 600 volts. Um, which is way more than you're ever going to need, especially for solar. Um, but it is rated for that. Typically, you're just going to be doing the, you know, 110 volt, 220 volt AC or 12, 24, 48 volt DC. <clears throat> um, one thing I wanted to point out: it does here on this dial, and I actually already had to use this on my air conditioner. The uh, if you put it on this setting right here the uh, resistance setting and then uh, switch the function a couple times you can actually test your uh, capacitor it has a capacitor tester now that is actually pretty rare as well um, usually that's not on it's certainly not on these cheapo um, units like this it, it measures resistance but it has no 
uh, ability to test a uh, capacitor. So that's a really cool feature. Um, and then, like I said, it goes up to 100 amps, AC or DC. And you can, so it, it is auto ranging, but uh, you can set it closest to the setting that you want to use. Um, anyway, that's pretty much uh, it for the unboxing and kind of initial impressions. Um, so I'll go ahead and go out to the solar panel and the battery bank and we'll test this out and I'll show you what it does. Okay, here we are out here in the shed with my, uh, my battery bank is in this box um, that, that goes to my solar panels, uh, my solar panel system. And so the positive wire comes off of here, goes through this little breaker and on into the system. So uh, if I were to want to measure the amps that are being produced by my batteries, I would just flip this to 20 amp setting will work. It doesn't really matter. You can set it to 100 if you want. And then right now it's set to AC. So we want to set it to DC. So there we got DC. And then all you do is you push this button to open the clamp and we want to clamp it around just the red wire. We don't want to put it around the black wire at all. So as you can see we're using 7.6 amps, 7.5 going up and down a little bit, but that's how many amps we're using off of my 24 volt battery bank right now. If I wanted to check the amps being produced by my solar panel, I would come up here, grab this red wire, and we're getting 13.9 amps off of my 24 volt solar panel system that's being produced. So, pretty straightforward as far as measuring amperage. This is so much safer than trying to use an amp meter or, you know, putting it on the, putting a normal multimeter on the amp setting and then using your leads and so forth. It's just, uh, I've blown wires that way, I've burned them up and, you know, it's just, this is a better way to do it. Not, it's non-contact, there, there's no, nothing to worry about with this. So that's one reason I like it. Um, and then it has all the normal multimeter features. So if I want to measure voltage, if I want to get into my battery bank and see how many volts I'm producing, again, I switch it to DC. And then let's open up my batteries. Let's see if this will stay up. Okay, so I can, and another cool thing about this is you can hang it on stuff, so it'll, you know, if you had a, a hook or something, you could, you could hook it onto something so that it would stay put, um, but for right now we can just put it like this, Let's see if I can do this with one hand, I probably can't, but you just take these leads, like we talked about, one of these goes on. You touch it to the positive side. Okay, so you touch the red lead to the red side, the red, the positive side, and the black to the black side, and you get your reading. Now I can't show this all at the same time on the, the screen. I should have set up my tripod, I apologize for that, but uh, just like a normal multimeter, I think everybody's probably used those before, so I don't really need to demonstrate this, but you touch those two leads to one to the red side, one to the black side of your battery, and it will tell you how many volts that it is currently producing. So um, this also has, you can test uh, resistance, which is nice to test to see if you have a short circuit or something. Like we mentioned before, you can test the capacitor. Um, so, pretty good all-around unit for 34 bucks. This is a steal, guys. Every every person that uses solar or just is a kind of handyman wants to check their oven if it stops working for their wife or or whatever. This is this is the tool to have. It's it's finally affordable. 
Um, this is a pretty quality unit that I can tell so far. Um, the directions are in Chinese, but I mean that's to be expected. This is a $34 tool. You're not getting, you're not making a 20-year investment or anything here, so don't worry about that. But uh, anyway, just wanted to uh, share this with you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.